Blog Talk Radio. Hey guys, it's those guys with your host Matt Marrero along with the other host Tristan Walter. And for some reason, despite all of your requests, you've sent Patreon money to us to not do these. No one's done that, but they could have. I haven't checked their Patreon in like a day. Maybe a bunch of people were like, please don't do any more of these. Um, okay. okay. Despite what? I'd, what? I'd be very confused if people did that. Well, because these are these are Tsunami Intruder special or Tsunami TIEs versus like talking about JoJo. I don't know if there was a choice. I think people would go for JoJo. Go on. <laughs> there you go. I'm like waiting for him to go, no, this is better than the anime that's on the block. I'm waiting for him to say that. You going to do it? I mean, what if I had? Just, Be just fucking stupid. Here. Because Dragon Ball Z exists. But Super's on the block. Right, there you go. Dragon Ball Z Kai, the final chapters, exists. I'm sure it's finished. No. It wasn't when this was on. Oh, that's fair. You know, this is a two-year... Tristan, Tristan, I want to... I, it's, I'm sorry, I, we have to do this to Tristan on the air, everybody. You can still stay there. You can still hang out while we're talking about Intruder 3, but you just got to hang out there for a second. I just got to talk to Tristan, guys. So I'm sorry. You just you stay right there. I'll be with you in a second. Tristan, do you know what day it is? <laughs> Tristan, um, do you know what year we're in right now? Marty, what year is it? Do you know what year this aired? Well, you said two years ago, so I'm guessing 2016. Did you say 16 or 15? 16. Thank God, because I thought you said 15, and I was like, oh, dear God, he doesn't know. I was like, dear God, he's not aware that we're nearing September while this is, when we record this, God knows when this is coming out. Uh, we're nearing <sighs> September 2018. Just, just letting you know that, Tristan. Okay, now talking to uh, fans. damn it, I'm Hi. in the wrong year. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hey. Um, today we're talking about The Intruder 3. And uh, another thing, too, is that these are newer as well, so there's not uh, like a non-nostalgia factor, so we can't gush about Hamtaro. We have to talk about mm-hmm. what was the funny anime airing in 2016. Oh, right. The funny anime, the one that was like, you know, family friendly, everyone loved it. Uh, Parasite. People Wait, found that yeah. hilarious. Uh-oh. People loved it. People, you know, it's interesting how the American culture has shifted. Like 30 years ago, nobody would have laughed at body modification horror. But now, now it's the bee's knees. Um, kids are just lining up. It's like, you know, Leave it to Beaver? <laughs> It's no, it's, oh, it's a remake. It's just that the 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 main character is half human, half beaver. Leave it to Parasite. No, no, it's okay. yeah. Leave it to Parasite. No, it's leave it to Beaver. He's just he's half human, half Parasite. It's like the Fly with Goldblum. Oh God. Kids are loving it. Yeah, no, it's 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 on uh, Disney Channel now. But uh. Anyway, that does sound like something that would be on Disney Channel, but would be, like, really cute. Anyway, like, it would it would take away all of the negative implications, and it would just be really funny and, like, a wacky sitcom. Anyway, uh, we're talking about the third intruder that you and I have we, – we've taken umbrage with it, haven't we, Tristan? Uh, in, in a small way, yeah. No, no, this is the largest way. It's, it's, a, it's only ten minutes oh. long. This is actually our biggest critique, technically. <laughs> It's only a 10-minute thing. We, right now, I think we've talked for almost 10 minutes already. We've almost destroyed the runtime. <clears throat> we've almost taken oh, up the entire runtime. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, this was a very short TIE, and frankly, I'm not saying everyone has to be. It's funny. Everyone doesn't have to be the intruder, but calling it the intruder three. Yeah. Yeah. And then having and then having a Shyamalanian twist. <laughs> like I was, it's like Tom's like I see dead planets. Well, actually, that's really? Sarah. Um, 
having a Shyamalanian twist. I was, you know, so here's the here's the reason why the only reason why I don't think that twist ending was written by Shyamalan. As far as I know, this planet is not Philly. If this planet was Philadelphia, I'd be like maybe, maybe Shyamalan wrote it, but it's not. Well then. Well, that's the only thing that that's the biggest huh. thing. Like anytime I see a twist, I'm like, wait, is that Philadelphia? Because if it is, there's a good chance Shyamalan had something to do with it. But, uh, but no, but the twist, I, I have no problem with the twist. Like, I think it's one that happens in sci-fi all the time. Like, it's a trope, but I don't necessarily think that if something's a trope, that means that it's bad. Because so many things have been done as of this point. We're in 2018. In movies, it's very hard to find something that's so radically different <clears throat> and good, in my opinion. Right. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it can't happen, but like when it does happen, it's like, that's so radically different. It's never been done before. It's amazing. It's like, yeah, I know, you know, Del Toro wrote about fucking fish. I get it. But at the same time, it's still about fucking fish. <sighs> and that, I look. <laughs> it won an award. <laughs> he won an award. No, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's so radical. people want it. Apparently, that's what I said last time. I forgot in uh, the Pacific Rim podcast we did. Apparently, people wanted fish fucking more than they did uprising. Okay, but uh, I'm just saying. Actually, to be fair, the movie won an award, but I don't think it did well at the box office because, interestingly yeah. enough, uh, many a times Academy Award winning films don't do well at the box office. So what that means is whoever is on the committee for the Academy Awards, they're freaks. I'm I'm not I'm not uh-huh. shaming them. I'm not, I don't shame kinks, okay. but but they're into some they're they're into some fish fucking. Anyway, so right. back on topic. Because I mean, um, I was gonna say uh, we got we got we don't have fish in this, but we got worms. Does does that count? Right. Yeah. No. It's just, just adult swims trying to get that in, in on that Academy Award. No. Um. Oh boy. No, all jokes aside, though, all jokes aside, right, I don't have a problem with the trope in this. Maybe some people did. I haven't really seen many comments on this. I'm sure there's someone out there that's like, really, the the whole, oh, the planet was dying, they weren't trying to, like, protect you. Like, they weren't trying to hurt you, they were trying to protect you. If not the planet is dying, at least the other, you know, issue or the, that some people might have, the whole, oh, they weren't trying to hurt you, they were there to protect you. Like, that's a trope that's been in sci-fi or just in movies and films in general for a very long time. But I don't have a problem with it. That's not my problem. My problem is yeah. you wasted the name Intruder 3 on something that had nothing to do with a third intruder. And that's frustrating. Right. Especially when, like, the worms weren't, like, super cunning or something. Like, it wasn't yeah. like there was, like, something that could be – because even if they were the intruders, okay. I mean, granted, for a bit there, it was a little bit thriller-ish. But once he found the yeah. combobulator – I was like, oh, that's really convenient. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what do you? So what do you think? Uh, obviously, we know what the point of this was. The point of it was, hey, we want to, you know, change up the scenery um, due to the fact that, you know, it's been, I think it's, yeah, it's been like a year since they'd. Actually, yeah, it's been like a year since they changed up the scenery, and maybe I don't know, maybe yeah. people weren't digging the environment maybe there were a lot of fan complaints i have no idea if this was always planned or not um yeah. well i mean, I mean clearly it was it was clearly was planned i mean like it was planned to pull the yeah. trigger this early cuz it only took a year for them to right. immediately be like yo get the fuck off this rock yeah i mean i feel like it's it's tom and sarah like we're always going to return to space at some point Oh, yeah, no. Most stuff, no, that's why I, I don't think, like, like, it definitely feels like, to me anyway, that uh, the base was always meant to be a spaceship. The way that they, you know, I'm sure they had that drawn for years. I don't think it just popped out of nowhere. But I feel like maybe they pulled right. the trigger earlier because people were saying something. Like, were you a fan? Because, I don't know, at first it did take some getting used to for me to see them on a planet oh, instead yeah. of, yeah. Yeah, me too. It took some... Uh getting used to looking at it. Um, but at least they came out, at least the, the ship had a sweet name, Vindication. Like, it's not Absolution, but like, it's still pretty cool. 
Yeah, no, I, I like absolution for, you know, I don't know, like just absolute, like just it, it feels good. But yeah, um, and I'm referring to alcohol, sounded... just the name sounds good. Yeah, no, because some people would make the joke, ah, absolute vodka. It's like, no, not duh. Yeah. Uh, but. Oh, my God. Absolute uh, Tom. It, absolute Tom. <laughs> hey, if you need a drink like me, because I do on this job, you know, get Absolute <laughs> Tom. <laughs> when you have to but, fight uh, off giant worm monsters and want to kick back when you're trying to run your broadcast, try Absolute Tom. It'll, yeah, you can get the version with like the, it's like the tequila <laughs> shot with like the little worm in it. Oh my! When you, yeah, it's like the worm that you drink. You just it's yeah. like one of those worms. Oh. Uh, but anyway, but seriously though, Tom's like, really? Do I? Do I? Are we? Are we trying to? Are we doing this? No, I. This was not in my contract. You know, there's some alcohol that's like shaped like the like the the glasses are really cool. Like they're shaped like skulls and things like that. You can get one shaped like Tom's head. Damn. Now he now now Tristan wants it. Tristan was. I mean, it was all. It was all fun and games until it was shaped like Tom's head. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> he was, ha ha, it's so funny and stoop. Wait, Tom's yeah. head? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go back. Um, yeah, we have to go back. Uh, but no, I, I do feel like it happened maybe a bit too early. Like it was, I don't know, I do wonder why they changed it so soon. Because yes, the Toonami original TIEs happened relatively close to each other, to be fair. But it's yeah. they didn't all they didn't always change up the ship. Yeah. Or the general environment, like it happened, but like it happened like what but, once. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was just a lot of the other TA users just they come across something weird in space, and shit happens, but they make it out. Yeah, the Absolution only got redesigned in First Intruder, and then. And then wasn't that it? Yeah. No, no, they got it redone again. Cause then, the ship that he blew up when he fought in Intruder Two was different as well. I thought. Oh well, it probably got redesigned <laughs> off camera or something. Maybe. Well, cause there was no reason unless there was like a comic book. There probably was a comic. Actually, no, we talked about there being a comic book about Possibly. it. But other than the yeah. comic book, no, we talked about that last time during Intruder Two. Um. But no, other than that, I'm pretty sure when they came back, like when they did the Tommy was so the room thing, he looked different. He had like the reactor on his chest, sort of. Right. Like it was like it was bulk. He was bulgier. Three. Uh, like yeah. The CG. He was like. Yeah, I want to say 2008, Tom. Okay, because no, and it was that 2012. That was for when they did the April Fool's joke. Yeah. yeah well, no. Well, yeah. 2012 is when they did the April Fool's joke. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, no, not 2008. Maybe it was like 2000. No, oh, they may have taken like that design. They may have taken an earlier yeah. design, is what I'm saying, for 2012 Tom. But then when he actually came back, came back, he looked like he does now. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah. Um, but uh, but one thing I want to say that's uh, that's interesting is that um, so I I love how like and I wish we could see this more. I kind of wish we could see how, like, what Tom and Sarah do just daily, just chilling. Like, I know it might yeah. be, I don't know, it doesn't have to be a huge event, and I get that, like, oh, we can't make it, like, a huge, big TIE or something. But I just want to, because, like, having Tom, uh, having the opening, uh, him be like, uh, it's like, Tom, are you still upset? It's like, I do have a nice singing voice. I oh just, but, like, I just want to see them just yeah. maybe not hanging out that you know heavily, but like why can't they like why can't we start up uh, TIE maybe a bigger TIE but start it up with him hanging out with a bunch of space people no one we know but like just a bunch of people and yeah, all of a sudden some crazy shit goes down yeah like if they docked somewhere and some crazy shit happens and then he and you know and maybe it happens off ship for once right. Just something a little bit, and I, the reason why I said off ship is because at first I was like, and then they run back to their ship, and I was like, no, they wouldn't animate a bunch of fucking CG models if they were not going to use them. But uh, but no, like, what if there's like a random part of the ship that's like the party deck? Now, of course, Tom, probably the party deck 
is the deck where he's actually pushing all the buttons and watching all the anime. But oh my god, I would love for like a movie night just to have like a small little thing of like Tom inviting people over for whatever movie it is, and kind of like just briefly, just like a, a funny reference gag, having like him and like two through a few other heads in front of like the opening of the movie. Right. If there's like you know, if yeah. there's like an opening song or something, and then have them be like, "Wait, what's this called again?" Shut up! I'm trying yeah. to watch the movie. It's like you're a terrible host. Yeah, and you're a terrible guest. Like I just want that. Like just, I think that would be really funny. Fight you guys again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but no, it would just in general though. Like I just want to see what Tom and Sarah do when they're not watching anime. Just briefly, just little yeah. fun stuff. Nothing crazy. I think you and I yeah. talked about this last time. Like, uh, like a little like days in the life of nothing crazy. Right. Although I will admit, I don't know about you, I'd buy a comic if they made a comic of them. Yeah. I mean, it feels like the day in the life of they do run into some crazy shit. It's not always their ship blowing up, but, like, you know, sometimes they get lost in hyperspace, sometimes they get stuck in an artificial gravity made by another ship. No, but what it seems like is Tom watches anime all year, and then once a year something happens. (laughs) Something fucking crazy happens. No, but, like... I just want to watch anime in my spaceship. Is that so much to fucking ask? <laughs> I just want to watch anime in my spaceship naked. Wait, Tom, what? Wait, you thought this was me clothed? Oh, my God. I I, I don't know, Tom. I don't know. No, I don't know. I just wanted... I, so I loved when he was just in the beginning. He was just talking about the... Um, the, the the you know the uh, the karaoke program and Sarah was like I'll delete it and I was like Sarah I think that's murder you being a program <sighs> yourself should understand the implications of deleting it oh my god yeah. but either way all either way though yeah I I don't know that little thing right there I was like right they do stuff other than watch anime all day yeah oh, I would the, like the to see a little bit. Me. What? Yeah, the funniest bit for me was just hearing Sarah listing off the different minerals and compositions she was finding. I'm like, yes, go on. She's like, Tom, <laughs> are you listening? I'm like, I'm listening, Sarah. <laughs> All right, and that, I, I I call this piece of art Tristan Fully Aroused. Um, All right. I, Tristan's <sighs> just like, I'm going to leave. I don't have to deal there's with a, this. There's a pun like, in there. I'm just glad you haven't found it. Uh, anyway, um, um, but just the fact, it? yeah, like she, and he's like, but then Tom is kind of like the opposite side of the coin. He's like, Sarah, come on. It's a beautiful day out here. Like the storms are no longer here. Like we can go outside, you know, why don't we talk about how the sky looks? It's like, Tom, I don't have time for that because if you haven't noticed, those storms are literally tearing the planet apart. Oh, well, you probably should have mentioned that before. (laughs) I love how Sarah, the computer, does not lead with important information. Well, I mean, she... (laughs) Well, no, you you would argue, like someone who is a bit rational, they might get lost in the weeds. That has happened with people who, like, pride themselves on rationality, and they're like, wait, actually, probably should have led with that. And I'm like, Why? So like you could say Probably that happened with her. Probably should have led with the idea that this is a spaceship. But well, she didn't know about it while he was trying to get into the base. I think. I think she discovered it because again they've been sitting on their asses, watching anime right. for a year. <laughs> they've barely explored. You would, but like it's so interesting that it seems like he's barely explored the quote unquote ship. Like you'd think he'd find yeah. engines sooner. Again, they really must love anime. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so, uh, it is funny though, because yeah, apparently they discovered that it was a ship and, um, then they flew away. Also the molecular, was it the molecular combobulator, discombobulator. I love the name. I love the fucking name. I was like that. That's perfect. It's so I cheesy. Like I love Tom it. Tom just said that. And Sarah was just like, I'm not even going to take the time to try and correct that. Yeah. Um, were there, I think there I'm were references. Oh, yeah, there was the satisfaction. <laughs> Did you catch the Star Wars reference? Excuse me? Did you catch the Star Wars reference? Where? Sarah literally said, I'm going to talk to them. They're our only hope. 
as she's a fucking little projection, pick, small projection person. Oh, fuck me. All right. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tristan, Tristan just starts to... Oh, it's like uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. His face just starts to <sighs> melt. No! Matt, I don't feel He's... so good. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I don't feel so good. Oh, no! Tristan! Oh, God. Um... As you said that, the worm fell onto the dust, and it all just poofed up. And I was like, look at all that Tristan. God damn it. Uh, but, um, but, yeah, so oh, yeah. here's something. What? Um, yeah, no, go ahead. I don't know why. Like, I loved how they were like, our planet is dying. There is only one more of us. You must take him. Sarah's like, how do you breed? Two? Yeah. Is it? Or yeah, are you, are you just I hoping that was like? <laughs> are you just hoping that he lived? Other, yeah, other people were kind of like, yeah, um, about that. Like, right. hmm, I don't. That, I that don't is have a valid point. I don't have to be a geologist to be like, yo, how we bone though. Like, I don't have to be a geologist to just be like, no. but. I, I don't do know, man. Make more of you. Yeah. Um, I mean, again, I understand the idea of I want my kid to live regardless, right? Right, yeah. But, but still. Um, also, Tom has new robot friends now. Did not realize that they had some on this planet or on this ship. Yeah. You would think they'd it also spill the beans. It comes out of the of the ship. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You'd think they'd also just be like, hey, how's it going? So welcome to the ship. Yeah, no, I'm doing just fine. Excuse fucking me? You'd think. Yeah. I don't know. Um, oh, I kind of get, by the way, why Sarah didn't originally, like, just find out. Like, here are the blueprints to everything. I mean, she's kind of, like, when she when we first see her, because she was like this all gear, she's kind of broken. You know, like, she's partial data. Yeah. So she's partial data for so long that, like, finally when, she, you know, during this moment, she's like, oh, fuck, I have to use all of the ship's data to kind of help me become this new, like, little pixie form thing. When she becomes that... Like, by the way, every time I saw her, I just was just like, please don't, hey, listen, Tom. Do not say, hey, listen. Please don't say, hey, listen. Um, but when she became the little pixie, I um, I was just like... And, you know, and she says, yeah, by the way, I know, like, I've become one with the ship now. I'm like, okay, so that's how you know now, like, everything about the ship. The fact that it is a ship, for one. Uh... The fact that so oh another question too could it not fly because the worms are so fucking huge? No, it was, the ship was just covered in rock and earth. It was just buried oh. so far in. I think they need okay. like the idea was like they needed the worms help to like lift the ship out and then Tom could fire the engines to finally get them out. Oh, okay. Because it's kind of, you no. Know, because to me, I'm like, wait, the ship is big enough that three worms can fit in it. As far as we know, the little tails aren't sticking out. Maybe they were, and we just didn't see it because, uh, you know, yeah. budget, budget concerns. No, because my whole thing was, wait, can you just fly with the worms? Again, the ship seems fucking huge. Yeah, I figured they would have just taken them with them, but I guess not. Also, also, I, I wonder haven't... how they took out took off with the multiple hull breaches that those worms then put in the ship. <laughs> I I thought that there were other entrances or something. There has to be. No, they. I'm pretty sure they just broke through the hull. Yeah, that that works. <laughs> like, just don't worry, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, I mean, how to get they off get the planet? The like... Oh crap. <laughs> Yeah, right? Um, I'm thinking of some other things as well, just a few other things. Uh, Oh, I, um, God, what was it? Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, do we see the worm throughout the year? Now that we know it's 20, you know, it's 2018, it's been a few years. Does the worm continue to exist? Because, like, I've never, I, I, funnily enough, I have seen shows that are on Toonami, but I haven't seen uh, Toonami in a bit. Like I yeah. see, like you see it on and off, but I don't get to see like. Does the worm interact with Tom? What's what's going I on there, Tristan? Noticed it. Yeah, because like I'm not saying like, the worm needs to come out with the badass music that they put in after right. this. 
Because you remember when, like, they show the Vindication, I don't know about right now, but, like, I have stuff on my DVR, older, Toonami stuff, now it's older. Uh, like, I'm watching Dragon Ball Z Kai, the final chapters, and they'll show the Vindication, and the music that starts is amazing, right? And when they show the music, I'm like, yo, where the worm at? I want the worm to be just bouncing, like, yo, this music's tight. And it's like, hell yeah, worm. So that was confusing. Yeah, well, that was, yeah, that was even the funny part. Tom was like, huh. Like, I'm not really cut out to be a dad. And but, I looked at that. And then. I looked at that. I laughed only because I'm like, wow, the people who watch Toonami and appreciated it, not just our age, but even older who may have appreciated it more when they were younger, are now parents. Or who are of an age, they could be like, huh, am I, am I cut out to be a dad? Like, it was just a funny little thing that I thought about. Right. Like, because yeah. I'm not saying that younger people aren't watching Toonami, but I do feel as if, like, thinking about uh, when, I, like, when I was um, a speech and debate coach, when I had students, and if I talked to them about anime, they would always bring up the newest shows. So they'd bring up, like, Super and Boruto and Shippuden and, uh, and Attack, uh, not just Attack on Titan, but more importantly, My Hero Academia. So those shows would come yeah. up, but I never heard a student who liked anime ever say, and maybe they did watch it, but ever say, oh, yeah, I like Toonami, or ICDs on Toonami. So I feel like right. Toonami, I'm not saying it can't be for people that are younger. I'm not trying to be elitist here. I'm just saying that, like, looking at the demos, I have a feeling that looking at the demographics, it's us or older. Right, yeah. But um, nothing wrong with it, right? We're, st- we're still kicking. Yeah. We're, not, we're not that old. But, um, but it's us or older because you know, just the fact that it's on TV and stuff like that, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but, yeah, so one thing I wanted uh, – or actually, no, you were saying something. You want to continue with your point? Yeah. Um, no, I was going to ask you, uh, what did you think of Sarah's redesign? Yeah, I I feel like the pixie the, – I, well, I love that she said going mobile because that's – uh, you know, to me, it's a joke on like just the just the, yeah. the the times that we're in. You know, like having right. everything on a mobile device. I mean, I go yeah. from room yeah. to room, and I'll consistently just be watching a YouTube video or listening to a YouTube video or just the news or whatever it is, playing off my mobile phone. And I still watch stuff on TV, of course. You know, stuff on my DVR, maybe some new stuff. But most of the time, it's just stuff right off my mobile phone. So it's just kind of funny that. Um, you know, that she said, I'm going mobile, and then she stood up that way, like, defiantly. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I love the hair. Other than that, I'm not the biggest fan. I think the color scheme is odd, like, depend, like, if you get a close-up of her face, and you look into her eyes, stare into them, and she looks like a super villain. Not a, not like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, looking at her eyes, I'm... because they're, like, glowing bright yellow. <sighs> Like, they kind of make right. me think of, what's his name from that third TIE? I forgot the villain's name. The one that looked oh. like a bionicle. Yeah, the, the, the... Yeah, I know. V- something Vox or Vagnus something. Spraxus, Spraxus, Vaxus, Smaxus. Rax of a Black of Vatorius, yeah. Um, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's, it's so, the, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but, I mean... Another thing, too, I guess, another good way to look at it is, uh, speaking of Doctor Who references, if you don't like it, just tune in in a year or so from now. Maybe it'll change up. Right. So that is the interesting yeah, thing, too, no, about I Toonami. Mean, yeah. I I like the fact that it seems like Sarah is able to move around the ship and she was able to do other things in the TIE, but just design-wise, I was like, eh, not crazy. I kind of like the, you know... Um, virtual reality head within the computer look a little bit better, but eh. Yeah, no, it's the thing is, she doesn't have to be only that, like in the computer, she can be, you know, because, I mean, she's still in the computer, she's just mobile with it, but I think yeah. my thing is, I don't know, it's the pixie design that for some reason, like the Tinkerbell-ish design, that I don't, I don't know, I'm not a fan of it. Like, it's cool yeah, on it's... Tinkerbell, pixies, there's nothing wrong with pixies, <sighs> nothing wrong with pixie, right. pixie haircuts, nothing wrong it, with pixies. Just just doesn't feel like it fits the space theme, you know, that Toonami has always kind of had. Well, excuse then again, me, it's actually more of a fantasy theme. All right, and you know what? Sci- 
sci-fi. It's just a backdrop. I will fight you. I will fight you right now. I will get on a train. I will get on the last train. I cannot oh. wait to see you here. I'll have Toonami playing. Oh, my God. Actually, yeah, it's we're funnily enough, even though this is coming out uh a while from now. Um actually no, tech, no, it's not. Wow, it is Sunday. For some reason in my head I thought it was Saturday into Sunday. My sense of time is fucked. Anyway, um mm. only only those guys. My sense of time is fucked. Only those guys. Boop. Um <laughs> but uh but yeah, so uh, we'll get into before we kind of wrap things up. We'll get into the actual um, uh, the list of shows that we're airing at this time. What I do want to say though is I, I really do enjoy that Toonami is you know going strong. We talked about it last time. Uh, actually, you know, I forgot what time we talked about it when it was like, hey, it is back, so that's nice. But I think even last time for Intruder Two, we didn't really talk about the impact because we talked about the impact of like Toonami, you know when we were kids, when we were talking about those TIEs. But we should actually take some time to kind of just sit back right now, just for like a minute, and just breathe and just be like, Toonami is back, and it's mm. been back. And that's, yeah. like, isn't it amazing to be like, how long's Toonami been on it, the air again? Again? Isn't that, yeah, you know, no, isn't that, that is a good yeah, feeling. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. uh, it's been back for, as of this, as of this recording, five years now. And you want to know something, Cray, Tristan? Oh, God. What? Do, do you? Okay. Do I? Um, yes, you do. I saw, a, I saw a promo for Super mm-hmm. that said that Super, and I assume that means, I guess, Toonami is airing it, although maybe it's just Super airing by, by itself. Super is airing at 8 p.m. daily. Damn. I don't know if, like, Toonami is jacking the broadcast, and, you know, and they're just like, by the way, we're the ones that are uh, pushing this out every day. But yeah, Super is airing daily. Like, holy crap. That's amazing. And I might actually, depending on where they are, I'll check it out. Uh, as of this recording, uh, next week they're actually doing the um, the arc where right before the tournament where Goku meets golden Frieza again and it's just like yes by right. the way I've been brought back to life whatever that's what I'm doing that's we're there already in super like that's nuts right Tom flies man so that's kind of like I don't know like it just feels like really cool that Tsunami's back hope it's you know stays back for a while I mean if it does go into hibernation again I hope it would be a short one but right. um, but no, I think we'll be having Toonami as long as – it's funny. I feel like they're prepping it up like even if Toonami goes, we'll have Super on daily. And I'll be like, okay, I'll watch Super daily then. <sighs> Tears in my eyes. Um, <sighs> but, um, but yeah, so I just I just wanted to bring that up, just the Super thing, just to show like, you know, the, these um, – if Toonami is attached to it, though it might not be, then yeah, we're getting more Toonami as well. So it's like it's just interesting to see how uh, Toonami has kind of come back with with a vend- uh, vengeance, with vindication, with absolution, <laughs> and uh, and we actually have you know more than no. one. Because here's the thing, I wonder, dude. I feel like what? they've made a comic of this already, but no, like listing the ship names. You know, it'd be hilarious for a TIE mm. if they if they flew through like a wormhole or something and they came out the other side and it's an older version of the ship like on the other like staring directly at them and they're just floating in space it's just Tom like Sarah uh something wrong with my uh my uh, optic sensors or is that is that our ship I mean it was our ship Tom but uh <laughs> I'll get a reading <laughs> I mean, if you want to give Sonny Strait a job, yes, I would like him to have more. I would like to hire Sonny Strait again, if that's what you're asking. Uh, oh, my God. Yes. Or even, well, you know, it's just like other versions of Tom, except for, you know, the one we don't talk about. That that one will stay dead. Uh, how funny would it have been if when they crashed on the planet, I think I said this last time, that's the Tom. 
like that was the that was the the command that that uh, specific command center. That'd be funny. Um, we can't stay here, Sarah. Tom, we don't have anywhere else to go, Sarah. I would rather die. Again. <laughs> well, it's it's funny. If they stayed there, then yeah, the ratings would plummet. Yes, the show would be canceled. The show would die. Um, what um what was I gonna? Oh, uh, speaking of going mobile, I would like. If they perhaps, and I know it might not be uh, feasible to do this, um, what's it called? It might not be feasible to, uh, brain, come on brain, uh, do this on, with, well, like on normal, uh, like their normal website because they do have cable and they do have to like, you know, shell out cable and have people buy cable to watch Tsunami. But it would be nice if they could put some of these online, either not just like the full streams, because the rights to that would be crazy, but it would be nice to air these somewhere else so that, you know, if you could just have Toonami outside of cable, it would be fun, just putting it out there. Right. Um, yeah. And I was going to say, funnily enough, you know, we do have that new streaming service. You know which one I'm talking about. We talked about this on our Kikaku Corner, uh, one of our Kikaku Corner episodes. DC. Right. Uh, their streaming service. Remember, Warner Brothers owns DC. So, right. just saying, Toonami okay. can come to that. Toonami can be. Toonami can come to it. Tristan, don't don't make that noise. Don't do that. Every time I have good ideas, he goes, "Oh God," <laughs> as if I propose something horrible. Go ahead, you can be quiet Back now. Me up on this. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Say that again. <laughs> I accidentally interrupted you. Would you like to talk to the fans again? Uh, no. I, they, they I heard actually me. they heard no they heard the distress no, they, call. No, no, they did not hear the distress call. I know this from post. I interrupted you. Therefore, it's going to go over what you've said. So please, I'm going to pause. Uh, well, the floor is yours. Um. Oh, so you know it was really funny that I noticed. No, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> looking through bumpers. No. <laughs> um, it's funny. There really wasn't much to the bumpers, like in between episodes. But I did find it hilarious that it was, you know, it was the console where Tom is sitting at, and the screen is showing what's coming up next. But it flashes, you know, hull breach or intruder detected. Um, or intruder incoming, or something to that effect. And, like, the first bumper is DBZ Kai, and they were in the cell games. So it's just intruder detected. Krillin getting kicked by a freaking cell junior, and everyone else getting the crap beaten out of them. I'm like, really? Intruder detected? You don't say! They <laughs> had a lot of anything. fun. Oh, God! They had a lot of fun with those bumpers because one was during Frieza, another was during Cell. Yeah. They have a lot of fun yep. with those bumpers. And they even had uh, JoJo going on the Phantom Blood at this point, so it's just Dio. Intruder detected. <laughs> that, that's hilarious. Uh, or there was another one where it was... Um, yeah, uh, hole breach detected, and it's just Dio stabbing one of the policemen before he transforms. And it was like, well then, that's, hmm, I see what you did there. That's funny. Um, uh, can you look up when this aired again? Actually, no, wait, actually, I have it. Let me see. Because I said 2016, November but 5th. I want to, November Oh, 5th? yeah, right. Yeah, November 5th, 2016. I remember laughing because it was the day after my birthday. <laughs> day after your birthday. Intruder detected. Wait, I don't... Why are there... Why... Why is... Oh my God. Why is yeah, what happened? Why is this... Uh, why did my birthday trigger this? Um, okay. Yeah, so, well, wasn't it funny? You were mentioning something about TIEs coming out around your birthday, and now it's... Now it's flipped over and it's like, huh, there's a TAE after my birthday. <laughs> well, yeah, because it made sense to when we were kids to have them in September. Because it's like, yeah, kids right. are going back to school. 
So right. they would because you know obviously tsunami being a weekly block uh, in the middle yeah. you know, smack in the middle of the day. If you put these events in the summer, why are kids gonna want to stay around even? Right. Yeah. You know, like kids will be outside playing most likely. Now because it's late night. Uh, they don't need to have it be, you know, oh, the kids are going back to school in September. In fact, if they were doing it for September, it would be so strange because, um, you know, kids are in, uh, like certain uh, people who might have been younger, a bit younger at the time uh, watching Tsunami, even a bit younger than us, would be in college or potentially in college right. or something like that. If not, just working a general job so it wouldn't actually matter when Tsunami, you know, when these go up. But still, November is a great time, I think, because – it's you know, it's not December obviously, but it kind of leads into uh, the new year, if you will. And then during December, they can just air you know random marathons and movies and stuff like that. So I don't know. I think right. it, I think it was a good time, in my opinion. Like this is a good time in November to air these because the last one aired in November as well. I thought right. Yeah. 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 So I think November isn't terrible. Um, especially again, has like you know demographics have changed. They're putting this late night instead of daily. Um, but one thing I want to mention, I want to mention uh, when, um, or rather, what anime aired during the block at the exact yeah. time. This this is a time capsule when people listen to this yeah. years and down the line. Okay, Dragon Ball Z Kai, JoJo's Bizarre yeah. Adventure, and yes, Part One, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron Blooded Orphans, well, Hunter X yeah. Hunter, Naruto Shippuden. One Piece, and One Punch Man. Now, yeah. oh, also, they had a special before One Punch coming on. Um, oh, what was the Children Who Chase Voices? Something like that. Yes, Children Who Chase Laws Voices. That was November. 5th. Yes. Um, yes. So that that came out as well. And, um, you know, it's just so, so interesting that uh, looking at some of these anime, that some of them are still going or some of them went for a while. Like, Iron-Blooded Orphans is gone for now, but I thought they were coming back for another season in the near future. But because uh, I thought they had another half or another full season to do because they dubbed it in blocks. Um, so, right. I, But Iron-Blooded Orphans is gone now. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is fucking in part four right now. Um, oh, yes. Yep. Part 4 just aired last week. Or, no, no, sorry, just this, like, yesterday. As it was recording, it just aired yesterday. Um, and what was it? Uh, Shippuden, still, still there. One Piece, <sighs> which I'm surprised. Like, it's funny. You, you said it, and I had some time to think about it. Yeah, I am a little shocked that, you know, not that One Piece is gone, but that Shippuden is still on. Um, that might yeah. get, you know what? It, it might get, the uh, what's it called? Uh, replaced with Boruto for a bit, for all we know, until there's uh, absolutely they can air those Shippuden episodes dubbed. Yeah. They might actually Maybe. replace it with Boruto. We never know. Um, Hunter x Hunter is still around. I don't know when that ends. Got to be real with you. Don't know when that ends. If it's if it's still going, even I have no fucking idea. It um, is still going, actually. Yeah. Oh, and so like. But did they – okay, so Hunter x Hunter started coming out, this version, in Japan in 2011. As far as I know, they took a while to dub that, right? Yeah, it's been in waves because, I mean, obviously the manga also goes on hiatus a lot, so. Yes, but um, but I thought the manga was over with. The manga still going? Uh, no, I thought it was still going. Maybe it's over with. I, again, I have no idea. I'll look it up right now if, uh, because I'm only curious because of the fact that before we even go into that, though, uh, let's also mention where are we? Where am I, rather? Uh, yeah, so, and of course, JoJo's come and gone. Uh, the block has gotten much larger since then because this, yeah. this is still 12 to, to uh, 3.30 uh, a.m. Right. So isn't that interesting? Like, just two years ago, the block was still... Uh, 12 to 3.30 a.m. We hadn't gone to freaking the crazy territories that we're at now where it's like, yeah, we're like starting at 11, but uh, yeah. And we're like, damn. 11 to 4, yeah. Yeah. This is the but, biggest um, it's ever been, and it's beautiful. I thought it's been bigger. I mean, this uh, current iteration. Well, okay, technically, technically with 
the rerun schedule that they had a while back, it was longer. Yes, because it went to 6 a.m. Right. No, I mean like this current iteration that is was 12 the long – yeah, but I'm saying when I say this current iteration, I mean this last, you know, newest version of Toonami the past five years. That's the longest it's been, this is right now the longest it's been since it came back. But they used to have like Midnight Run and stuff like that that went yeah. on, I thought, till like six. Um, by the way, yeah. you were right with the manga. It's still going for Hunter x Hunter. Right. Okay. The anime, however is is only from 2011 to 2014. Right. I think they have other either are these yeah, they have two movies that came out in 2013 and I think they stopped it in 2014, but I guess that means hey, we're taking a break until there's more we can get from uh it is Tagashi, yeah. right? I thought Tagashi yeah, is same, writing this. Yeah. Yeah, same writer as Yu Yu Hakusho. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. Um, he loves his tournaments. The man loves his tournaments. Um, but yeah, so no, cause the reason why I'm wondering why Hunter X Hunter is still going on Toonami is because like I, because I don't watch it on Toonami, I was under the impression that while Hunter X Hunter is new on Toonami, it isn't getting uh repeats just like Shibudan is. So I'm pretty sure once Hunter x Hunter ends, which might even be soon for all we know, because it's been on the air for almost three years now, it might right. actually like just stop. Like it had a good three-year run on Toonami, and it might just end right there. Because apparently in Japan it ended in 2014. Didn't even know. Right. Like, oh, damn. So that's also something to think about as well. Like what future things, like not in this podcast, but in general, it's like what future things will come out once uh, – once this ends, yeah, Hunter X Hunter ends on hold. A boy has a right to dream. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> so what you're telling me is you want you more must Cowboy Bebop? Your own path. <laughs> <laughs> what, you're, what you're telling me is that it? I mean, I I won't say no to Bebop. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, so I think we've said enough about this ten minute special. Uh, is there anything else you want to mention? Oh, yeah, no, speaking of this being quote-unquote for adults, Tom swore – he said effing. Yes. Well, okay, he said – well, yeah, so he said effing. The only actual curse he said, he said, oh, crap, when the worms came out of the ground. I mean, like, hmm, I I don't know. I mean, like, you know how I am with fucking swearing. Like, I'm not the biggest fan. Um, but <laughs> – Come on, you know how I feel about fucking swearing. But well, no, it was just one of those your fucking mouth on the air now, shouldn't you? Oh fuck, I should. God damn it. Um damn one it, thing, we're gonna no, have to I... cut the broadcast now. No. <laughs> Four! It cuts it off the next f- countdown. That we do that one <laughs> next and you hear me going oh! Only those guys. <laughs> But um Well the one thing I wanted to mention for some people that oh, God. No, because there might be some people out there that might be like, can he say that on air? Like, not me. Tom, can he say effing? Funnily enough, technically he can. So here's something fun about cable, Tristan. Cable does not have the same regulations as network television does. Now, you obviously are like, Matt, I know that much, right? Right. But but here's the thing, though. Not every – just be – like, yes, HBO – okay – HBO and Cartoon Network technically have no difference. Do you, like, let me explain. There's no difference. Like, there's a reason why the FCC isn't as much on HBO's ass as they might be on Cartoon Network's ass. It's not about one being HBO and one being Cartoon Network. It's not like a brand recognition thing, right? It's the fact that Cartoon Network is beholden to advertisers, unlike HBO. Right. So HBO can get away with as much breasts and nudity and sex as they want to and other swears and anything like that. They can get away with all of that. Why? Right. Because people are paying specifically on top of their cable right. to get HBO. So yeah. there's not some stuffy executive somewhere uh, who, if you want to sponsor us, you totally can. There isn't some stuffy executive somewhere 
who's just like, oh, no, we want to sponsor this, but you said fuck. Oh, no. And, and there so, are boobs everywhere. Oh, I like that, but I have to pretend that I don't for ads. Oh, no. Like, it's just, but it's just that's the way it is, right? Also, even though this is late night, having Cartoon Network in the name, it just doesn't sound like, you know, Android says fuck on Cartoon Network. It's like, no, it wasn't during the fucking day. You know, like. But it, but it, but it. Android says fuck on Kids Network. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, Androids is fuck on Kids Network. It's a clip from like Team Four Stars version of DBZ. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, <laughs> fuck you! Oh fuck you! Android says fuck on Children's Network. We should do that. I should take TFS clips and like put the old Cartoon Network logo on it. Oh my god! I'm pretty sure it's been done. Probably has. I'll look it up. It'd be fucking how I'm. You know, it has probably been done, but I still want to do it regardless. Old school tsunami, but just putting in like TFS clips. <laughs> yeah, all that. Dragon be. Ball Z, Team Four Star, only tsunami. Huh? <laughs> Dark. <laughs> uh, but oh, uh, what else? oh, that's what it was. Um, what? My favorite line from this. So looks like Tom has more of I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's a rifle, a machine gun, whatever. You know, to fight off the worms in the lower levels. And I love the fact that he's you know, it doesn't really have much effect. So he like turns around and starts to run and he's like I wish just for once that a blaster would take care of the problem. Dude, <laughs> I loved when he's like, wait, so I'm gonna pilot the ship and you're going to go down into you're the dark? You're going to go fight the monsters. Or deal yeah. with the monsters in the dark? Yes. I like this I like plan. plan. <laughs> <laughs> I like this the com- plan. The comedy was on point, yeah. Oh, um, oh yeah. But uh, oh. what was... Yeah, the comedy was great. Uh, um, let's, see. let's see. I'm thinking yeah. of something else I wanted to say as well. Um, you first, if you remembered it. Yeah, no, I was just going to say Steve... Steve Bloom and Dana Swanson have fun with this. Have fun on this show. <laughs> yeah, no, they definitely do. I mean, it's a, it's such a fun paycheck for for them. I would imagine because like yeah. you know, Bloom has to do so many other things. I don't know what uh, what she does, but I know that he's in you know video games and not just other anime, but also in cartoons like American cartoons and stuff like that. He's in so much other stuff that like oh, he was also in fucking Solo. Right. Yeah. Stormtroopers. Right. Right, I remember losing my shit because I, or no, you pointed it out, didn't you? Yes, but then you lost your shit because you told me he was also in some video games as Stormtroopers. Yes. Yeah, so we both collectively lost our shit because I heard his voice and he was just like, hey, so I guess it's, you know, lunchtime for him. Because it's the scene where um, Solo gets thrown into that pit with Chewbacca. So he's like, hey, I guess it's lunchtime for the beast. And I was like, I think that was him. And then you're like, wait, really? And then you were like, he he played Stormtroopers in video games, Star Wars video games. And I was like, ah, it's funny. But uh, right. so the point being, though, is that uh, is that, you know, he gets he gets around. He does a lot of work so he can just yeah. come in here. Oh, she's um, the, uh, the lead singer for a band, too. Oh, fuck yeah. So she, you know, they both get to come in, do this, and then be like, well, everything else that we do is mostly stock footage unless it's, um, to be fair, unless it's like a review for a game. So they do keep them busy. But, like, not super busy because those reviews can't be any longer than, like, two minutes at most. Like, you know when they review a game for, like, literally, like, 30 seconds? Yeah. So, like, they bring them in to do stuff like that. that What? I'm glad they've kept up with doing stuff like that. I missed that from, like, the old days. Oh, yeah, and also, I mean, I was watching, uh, uh, it was either Kai or Kai the Final Chapters, and they actually showed Tom talking about the new Attack on Titan game. I was like, that's right. funny. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, it really is. So, I, you know, I really do enjoy what they're doing with New Toonami. Again, I hope it stays around for a while, and if it doesn't, like, if something goes wrong on television, DC has a streaming service, man. You'd get me to sign up immediately if they can take 
their, you know, what they're doing on TV with anime, and they're bringing it to the DC streaming service as like a weekly block or something. Right. Yeah. That would, I mean, because they technically have that, quote unquote, have that on their own website, on Adult Swim's website. You can watch past episodes of stuff that's currently airing on the Toonami block. Just no time. Yeah. So, it, I don't know. I think it would be smart if either some, if something goes wrong here, like if the ratings are too low and they're like, we've got to get rid of this within, like, you know, by like 2020 or something or by 2019, it would be really small, well, late 2019, because they do have Bor- Boruto coming. So it would be really odd to add Boruto just to, like, cancel the whole fucking stri- <laughs> That would be odd. Like, so we right. put on Boruto. Oh, okay. And we're canceling Toonami. First Naruto, then his kid. <sighs> Every, well, because remember when they can't... Not that it's Naruto's it's fault, because Naruto... Fault. Well, because Naruto was, Naruto was popular back in the day, but remember when they oh, yeah. canceled Toonami the first time, Naruto was on it. Yes, I remember. But it had nothing to do with Naruto, but it was just really funny to think about. Um, yeah, either way, though. Anything you want to say before we uh, wrap this baby up? <laughs> Um, I hope we get to see more of the worm doing fun things with Tom and Sarah. Like I, I love to see them with a crew. Maybe not too many, but like one or other, you know, one or two other people would be cool just to flesh things out a bit. Want to play catch with your dad? I'm a worm. Oh my god! All right, I said I wasn't gonna be a good dad. I mean, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> no, what would be interesting is, do you know what's going on with that Starlink game? Uh, it's it's on coming to Nintendo Switch. Do you know anything about that or no? I do not. So I talked about this for a Matt Rants a while ago when EA, because EA is developing the game. EA? No, Ubisoft. So Ubisoft is developing a game. So when they did the Ubisoft um, uh, panel at E3, I actually talked about it. And Starlink is like some game where you're like, I, I, I know, it's a little bit toyetic, kind of like Skylanders in a way, but it's in space, so like you're flying with different spaceships, and you can buy other spaceships to add on to your spaceship fleet and yada yada. And I don't know too much about Starlink, but it looks pretty fun. I just have no real interest in it because I don't want to buy toys to kind of have to – because I believe you do have to buy like certain ships to kind of like scan in. I believe that's how it works. Why is this relevant at all to Tom having a crew? So – during the Ubisoft um, Ma- uh, during the during the Ubisoft Matt Rants during the Ubisoft panel at E3 that I did the Matt Rants on, out of nowhere they're like, "Oh, we need help!" You know, who can you like or something like that? And you all of a sudden you hear, "Hello, Fox McCloud, you rang?" And then fucking Fox flies in. And apparently yes. Nintendo is working with this company, and McCloud's going to be in the game, in Starlink. Yeah. Could you imagine? Yes. We're giving away Nintendo Switches. Fucking Tom meets Fox. Oh, that'd be cool. The vindication <laughs> like, oh. flies in. <laughs> hey, I heard you needed assistance. That'd be like, oh, 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 that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So that's Tom's like. That, that would be amazing. I don't know if this. I don't know if this thing can pull off a barrel roll as smoothly as yours, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> The only reason why that would never happen is because now we have late night tsunami. Yeah, I know. No, because if we had daily tsunami where like everything was like happy go lucky again with no swears, yeah, mm-hmm. then we then we'd have uh, a potential I mean, a situation like that. Yeah, no, and yeah, no, 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 you're right. Um, no, I was just thinking like it's funny, like. Even growing, like, obviously, yes, it was a children's cartoon block, but even growing up, it never felt like Tom was talking down, trying to be kid-friendly. Tom, like, they were always very real, especially with, like, the life lesson talks. That's why I do enjoy, like, that's that's why I'm not saying, like, oh, this is a, like, I, when I say something's for children, I'm not shitting on it. That's the oh, thing. Yeah. Oh, some no, pe- no, Some people yeah. do. Yeah, but I don't. So you can say it's for children, but we're not shitting on it because there's nothing wrong with something being for kids in our eyes because it doesn't – just because you're you know, a show for kids doesn't mean you're looking down, literally looking down at the kids and being like, okay, so we're going to go on adventures now. Not that, again, if it's educational, if the show is educational, there's nothing wrong with that to be fair either. But still, 
that's not what the show was meant to be about, so that, or the block, so that's why it's okay, you know, for, like, now that Tom swears, I'm like, he doesn't need to swear. He doesn't need to swear because it's late night, but he does, and I'm just like, oh, Tom. Now, you're, we're broadcasting at night now, right? Yes, we are. Crap. Like, Tom's like, I can say crap now. Do you understand how many times I swore off camera? Like, just pointing at us. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> um, anyway. But, yeah, so... I do hope that uh, we do, we see some more of the worm, and uh, we'll find out next time on Countdown because we'll be doing that eventually. Yes. All right. So thank you all so much for listening in. Please remember to like subscribe for listening to this or watching this on our Those Guys on the Radio YouTube channel. And if you're not, well, then know that in the description box down below or wherever you're listening to this to, either our Blog Talk Radio account, blogtalkradio.com slash those guys on the radio, maybe you searched up those guys on iTunes and you found us that way. Um, wherever you're listening to us from, just know, thank you all so much for watching. There will be a bunch of different links around. I can't go through all of them right now because I'll add another three hours to our runtime. But <laughs> it'll just the longest Those Guys podcast ever. But I just want to thank you all so much for listening to another Anna Saturday with us. Uh, just kind of going down, not super memory lane, but a little bit, a little bit. It's been about, it's been a, two years, a little bit down memory lane. And maybe you'll see this in the future when Tsunami, sadly, might be off the air and you're reminiscing. So either way, thank you all so much. Love you all. Take care. And tune in next time for something completely different. So say goodnight, Tristan. I love this job. Later. Uh...